You don't have a protein problem. You have a signaling problem. Muscle isn't built by accident. It's built with purpose. When the lights are on and the workers show up and the materials are ready, you can build and repair muscle tissue. You're eating clean, training hard, protein at every meal, strength sessions dialed in, macros tracked by the gram, doing everything they told you to do, but your body isn't changing. No new strength, no visible muscle, the scale barely moves. The question hits you, what could I possibly be doing wrong? You've been told that more protein equals more muscle. That's only half the story because muscle growth isn't just about how much protein you eat. It's about when you eat it, what kind that you eat, and then more importantly, whether your body gets the signal to grow. Let's zoom in and better understand this because if you understand the muscle protein synthesis room, everything changes. Inside every muscle is a tiny control room. We call it the MPS room or muscle protein synthesis. This is where real gains are made. If this room never turns the lights on, you're in trouble because muscle doesn't grow from total intake. You could eat 100 grams of protein a day and still lose muscle. It grows when your body receives one specific signal, a trigger, a message that says, guys, start building. What's that signal? Well, it comes from one amino acid, leucine. After the age of 30, the body no longer runs on hormones and we start to rely on leucine as the signal to turn the light switch on in the MPS room. And here's what matters. Most people need at least two and a half to three grams of leucine in a single meal, not per day, to trigger that signal. That's usually found in about 30 or 40 grams of high quality protein. That's where the protein quality number came from. But that's not always the case. You could have 50 grams of a collagen protein shake, you would absolutely positively not turn on MPS. That's not enough. That does not meet the leucine threshold. Leucine flips the light switch on in the MPS room. The foreman, mTOR, gets the message. We've got enough building blocks. This one building block amino acid, the red Lego leucine, we have enough of it. Therefore, we probably have no other material we need. That's the signal I was looking for. Tell mTOR the foreman to tell the workers to start working and let's go. The red Lego leucine sends that signal. The workers are recruited from your last workout that you showed up to. The more intensive the workout, the more people show up to work. The longer they stay inside MPS. But if you don't hit that threshold, the light stays off. The foreman never shows up and the workers go home. No signal, no growth. So let me introduce my client, Sarah, and better understand how this happens in real life. She's doing everything right. Eating clean, tracking macros. She, she's such a hard worker. She really is an incredible human being. She's averaging nearly 100 grams of protein a day. I go, okay, on its face, looks really good. But she's losing muscle. She's not gaining it. Uh, how can that be? because she doesn't understand the rules to maximize or optimize muscle protein synthesis or MPS. So let's start with breakfast. Breakfast at 8 a.m., she said, I had some Starbucks egg bites and coffee. I go, okay, healthy? Yes, 18 grams of protein, but only one and a half grams of leucine. Okay, not high in leucine. She will not meet the leucine threshold. So not enough to flip the light switch on. There will be no MPS, there will be no muscle building on because of that meal. She turns around and goes to lunch at 12.30. Quinoa bowl with tofu, black beans, and kale. Tofu is a complete protein, meaning it has all the essential amino acids. Quinoa bowl, extremely healthy, but it wasn't big enough. When we measured it out, it came out to 28 grams of protein. Seems pretty good. People said 30 to 40 grams of protein turns on MBS, which is an estimate. 28 grams of protein, but this is coming from quinoa and tofu and black beans that comes out to just 1.8 grams of leucine. Therefore, the light switch doesn't go on. Therefore, mTOR does not get called. None of the workers come into the room and no muscle is repaired or built. She's still below the leucine threshold. The MPS room stays closed. She's had two meals that you'd have to consider relatively healthy and she has not turned on MPS. Her body has literally been in muscle breakdown mode all day. She takes a snack at 3.30, another genius move she thinks. She has a protein bar and has 15 grams of protein. At 20 or 25 years old, before she was 30 and her body was running on hormones, this would have had a response. But after 30 years old, you're not getting get a response if you don't meet the leucine threshold, if you don't get enough red Legos at each meal. So this protein bar is only one gram of leucine. Once again, no signal. Another missed opportunity to repair and build muscle. And this is where most people get stuck. They're so obsessed with total protein for the day instead of focusing on leucine per meal. And now we've got this craze going around the United States, right? We're putting protein in ice cream and protein in these pancakes. And those are absolute scams because you're not getting enough of the Lego blocks in those meals to turn on MPS. Just total protein for the day is absolutely positively worthless. 
If that's the only thing you take away from this video, you've learned a ton. So she has dinner at seven o'clock at night. What did she have? Shrimp stir fry and vegetables with rice. Once again, pretty crazy good day. How many grams of protein? 30. She had shrimp stir fry that I raised her out had 30 grams of protein. But shrimp, like collagen, is very low in leucine. So she did not hit the leucine threshold. With only 2.2 grams of leucine, she did not activate in the MPS room. So Sarah ate nearly 100 grams of protein for the day, and not once did she activate muscle protein synthesis. Not one single time during the day did she turn on the light switch and the workers start building and repairing muscle tissue. Every single MPS room stayed dark. No signal, no growth, just maintenance, or worse, muscle protein breakdown most likely. Here's how we fix it. Fairly simple, really. Breakfast, same meal as she had before, couple of egg bites, but this time we're gonna throw in one scoop of whey protein. What does it do? Whey protein is very high in leucine. It will instantly activate MPS. MPS will activate the light switch will go on. There's Legos on the table, there's amino acids on the table. Why? The egg bites will break down into amino acids. The protein shake will break down into amino acids. So the table is loaded with Legos that workers that she got from working out can go in the MPS room in each muscle in her body, take these Legos, put them back together and repair and build muscle. Okay, lunch, keep the quinoa bowl, add a soft boiled egg and sprinkle some hemp and popkin seeds for some crunch. That's all you'd need. That quinoa bowl was unbelievably healthy with the tofu. It just wasn't a big enough portion. When we're doing vegetarian, we probably just have to have a little bigger portion size. You can absolutely use vegetarian meals just as easily as you can with animal-based proteins, but you may need a little more in quantity size, and that's all. This example requires one more boiled egg or sprinkling some hemp and pumpkin seeds. And that gets her to 35 grams of protein instead of 30 and 2.7 grams of leucine. And once again, the MPS room now is now activated. That's twice now today she has turned on an activated MPS room and her body will repair and build muscle tissue. Take that protein bar that she had before at three o'clock and combine it with shrimp dinner. And this is what I want you to understand. Now that one meal, meal timing, has 45 grams of protein because you took the protein bar at three o'clock and brought it in with dinner. Now there's 45 grams of protein at dinner and just over three grams of leucine. The light switch flips on, mTOR is called, and said we have enough of the red Lego blocks. Therefore, we probably have enough red Legos in general to do this incredibly intensive process. So start the workers. mTOR turns around, gets the signal, and starts the workers. So most of that, besides the way protein shake, was same foods, same calories, but just different timing. Now Sarah gets three muscle building signals in one day versus zero the day before. But if these meals are eaten separately, the red Lego never reaches enough at the table. We don't get to the two and a half to three grams of leucine threshold. The lights stay off, the crew never gets called, and nothing gets built. Add that up over 20 or 30 years, and that's the difference between something that's strong and mobile at 70 and someone else that's using a walker. Everything else being equal. Someone struggling with sarcopenia and frailty? This is what they need to know. You must understand how MPS works. We are what we repeatedly do. Excellence, then, is not an act, but a habit. That was Aristotle. So eat with intention. Train with purpose. Signal your body to grow. Your muscle isn't built in the gym. It's built in the hours that follow. When the lights are on, the workers show up, and your MPS room goes to work on building the new you. If something in this video made you pause, reflect, or question your story, that's exactly the point. So subscribe, hit the bell, and stay in this conversation.